Even CNN knows that watching the news is boring, boring, boring. Or at least I assume that's why they created the amazing Anthony Bourdain travel show, which is adding more episodes to Netflix this week. Ooh, that's tasty. Ooh, that's nice. I'm Clint Gage, and you're watching Stream On on Movie Phone. Season 4 of Anthony Bourdain, Parts Unknown, hits Netflix Friday. In the show, Bourdain travels the world and lives out my food fantasies. It's still unclear how he got a hold of my food fantasies, but it's still pretty damn flattering. The show is fun to watch, he's a great host, and he gets pretty personal in some of the episodes. In season four, he's all over the map, from Paraguay to Massachusetts to China. Xiaolong Bao, literally small steaming basket buns. But I translate them in my head to pillows of happiness that will scald your tongue and throat if you don't know what you're doing. The show's won three Emmys and the fifth season started last month, so I'm not the only one who likes it. Also on Netflix this week is Fruitvale Station, the movie based on the true story of a 22-year-old killed by police in Oakland, California in 2009. There's not much to dislike about this movie. Michael B. Jordan crushes the lead role, and the story is heartbreaking without being overly political. I'm scared. I hear guns. Don't just firecrackers. You're safe inside. What about you, Daddy? We'll be back before you wake up, and we'll be fine. The film premiered at Sundance in 2013 and won the Grand Jury Prize, which is like a really big deal, guys. And finally, the 1968 classic film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is now on Hulu. This is a really fun musical that stars Dick Van Dyke and doesn't feature a single song from the movie Frozen. And if that doesn't convince you to watch this with your kids, then I'm not sure you're responsible enough to have kids. Judgment. That's a curious name for a motor car. Put that the nostalgic names. Listen. Roll Dahl wrote the script for the movie before he went on to write the greatest script of all time, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That's all for now. We'll see you next week.